<laughs> Wish that we're live. <laughs> Tell me that word did not get live. At one hundred percent did, I think. <laughs> It's a cartoon character. It's a cartoon character from my childhood. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're playing some more Dungeon of the Mad Maid. Uh, I'm excited to be back. I'm Jan. I'm your dungeon master for tonight. Uh, with me are these five wonderful people uh, who are playing as Lance, why don't you start? I am playing Vok, your friendly neighborhood paladin, black dragonborn, and paladin of Mistra. Mark? Oh, uh, I'm playing uh, Theron Thunderstone, um, dwarven artificer. And then there's Star. I'm playing Copper Kettle, the Tabaxi Bard. And Alex? Uh, I'm Gendry Rustpocket, uh, the Rock Gnome Rogue. And last but not least, thank you. I'm playing Grackle, a Goblin Rogue. Uh, last time, the gang saved an elf from certain death by the hands or tentacles. 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 The grasps uh, of two hungry growls. Uh, they then went on to sneak through the dungeon, found a secret door, and opened it with a hammer or a uh, mace, I think. Is that right? House of maintenance. Yes. Uh, and directly behind that secret door was a. Uh, was a uh, china cabinet, which was also sm smashed in uh, in the process, making a lot of noise. And when they emerged into uh, the new room, um, they saw three big statues of um, humanoids in decorative plate armor. And shortly after, four figures emerged from behind these statues um looking exactly like um like the uh like the encyclop the lexicon uh, entry for every vampire ever um welcoming our friends our group <laughs> telling them they are now in their domain that's where we stopped last time. That's where we're going to pick up the new session. Um, and I think if I remember correctly, uh, the exact words the vampire used were Tremble in fear, mortals. You have stepped in our domain. What do you guys do? Obviously, tremble in fear. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Greco's shaking. You hear a lot of coins rustling. No. <laughs> uh, no, I, I. What weapons am I carrying? I hold up my sword. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if you're waving. Yeah, or, I. Uh... <laughs> I'll aim my short bow. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I mean, I think I've already got my hammer and shield out, but uh, I'm going to. You take them, put them away, and take them out again. Yeah. Menacingly. I equip them and unequip them just to fix a small bug with my uh, <laughs> yeah. um, character. Yeah. Uh, so. Spend an action. Yeah, spend an action. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna. Oh God, what am I gonna say? I'm going to use a quick bonus action to uh to cast mm -hmm. magic weapon. Mm -hmm. or I think it's magic weapon. That's what it's called. We're not in combat yet, so. Oh, I know. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna activate magic weapon. No, I, I mean you don't have to spend action. Oh, no, sorry, I need to spend a spell, do it at a spell slot to to do it. 
Um, oh, it's twelve volts. Yeah, that's so of course. So I'm gonna. I pull out my hammer and I press a small button on the back of it, and uh, it starts to glow. I'm gonna say. Do you want to make an intimidation check? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna like tell him to stay back. I'm gonna like, stay back. Yeah, make fiends. make an intimidation check. Uh, eight, <laughs> eighteen fiends. Yeah, eighteen plus da, 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 uh, nothing. So eighteen. Uh, wait, let me check. Check their stats. Um, they um, they actually look impressed. Like their eyes glow a bit, and one of them takes just a tiny step back. Um. Yeah. Yeah. But, exactly. Uh. The main one says, <clears throat> the one that greeted you in the beginning, You are in luck, mortals, for we have just feasted. For a mere uh, ten gold pieces, we will let you pass unharmed. Hmm. I whisper, like, I would go with that bit. I like being unharmed. That is a vampire inch with a ten gold pieces. Do you well, say that out loud? No, I say that quietly to like as we're having a, a bit of a <laughs> huddle. That's a good question. Give us a minute. <laughs> yeah, st stand by, vampires. Give us a minute. Stand by. Okay, let me like. I'm going to back. make a quick uh, religion <laughs> check for Varok to see what he knows about vampires. Mm hmm. Ooh, that's not bad. That is a, a total of 20. Nice. Uh, and what were you, were you using that again? Sorry. Uh, religion check to see what Varak knows about vampires. Uh, you know, the vampires are um, undead evil creatures. Uh, they. Uh, feast on the blood and flesh of the living. They are unable to uh, enter someone's domain unless they're invited. Uh, they are um, they are very sustainable, uh, um, sustainable, suspectable. No, they take a lot of uh, damage from radiant damage. <laughs> they hate the sun. Susceptible. Susceptible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, they are weak to to uh, the sunlight. Um, yes, that's about it. Okay. Okay. Useful things to know. I can give them my sword as a gift. Can you? <laughs> if I like pass it through. Like one pass of... it through them. <laughs> like a very aggressive <laughs> gift. No, you you can't you can't pry it out of your left hand. It's in there. Like your left hand is clenched tightly uh, around the hilt. Right hand. Wasn't it left hand? I thought you picked it up. Where's the right hand? Oh, okay. right. We had whatever hand you used to... to pick it up. <laughs> you can't try to switch it to their left hand. Yeah, you you. Yeah, that's it. You can't like you can't pry your hands open. It's just it doesn't work. <laughs> Like it's magnetized. Absolutely, yes. Just a moment. If everybody in here asks us for money to let us pass, we'll be paupers by the time we leave. That is true. Um, did, were they asking for ten gold pieces per person, or just one payment of ten gold pieces? They did not they, specify. Therefore, they did not specify. Yes. We can potentially <laughs> negotiate this into ten gold pieces for both directions, traveling in and out. Ten gold for all of us going and coming? Per person. <laughs> I fire. <laughs> oh, you fire? Okay. Yes, I Shoot do. them? All right, make yes. a... Uh, make a roll. <laughs> now, on a surprise attack... Well, no, 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 no. Uh, Twelve. Twelve? Twelve. 
Roll damage. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, they're... Well, they are vampires, so they're either stupid or arrogant. <laughs> no mortal weapons can harm us. Who said this one? Plus, 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 five, eight. Eight damage? Eight points of damage? Yeah. Um... Which uh, vampire were you shooting at? <laughs> the one talking to you? Uh, the one who seems to be in charge. Yeah. The one. Okay. You let go of an arrow, and it plunges right into the shoulder blade or into the shoulder um, of the uh, of the vampire. And and then, uh, and then I say. No, that wasn't a question. Ten for the, all of us, coming and going. The arrow actually like penetrates; it sticks out the back end, which you notice because the vampire screams in agony. He goes, "Ah, oh, oh dear lord! Oh no! Oh, in the name of the defender!" The vampires look at him. Dear lord, Caden, no! What have you done? And oh they run no! Up to him. Uh, like it's the acting troop. Uh, they they uh <laughs> go on their knees and like, oh god, oh god, you seriously hurt so much blood? Oh god, no! Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> Advance, break off the arrow, pull it out, mm -hmm. lay on hands. Caden. He doesn't sk stop screaming. Oh god! Oh god! Mom! Mom, please! No! Oh god! Oh, the pain! <laughs> they, the, other the other vampires look at you in shock. They, they are, please! Please don't hurt us! Oh god! It was only a shock! Like, you weren't going to hurt you! Theron says, Theron like puts his hammer down and says, like, alright, alright. Clearly there's been a misunderstanding here. Um... I misunderstand him, you nearly killed him! You, you I do not were... put my bow down. <laughs> he nearly killed one of you. Get some perspective, children. You're in a dungeon pretending to be vampires. I, th I think we've all learned a valuable lesson. Get your butts upstairs! Your <laughs> friends are waiting. Um, they sit there and say, We can't. We can't, not without that call. No, no, and not without Harrier. No, no, they will never forgive us. We can't live here. No, those have not been our orders. We have to stay here. I don't want to lose my job. Are you crazy? <laughs> You'll lose your life if you keep on like this. Hmm. I think there's worse things than that. I'm not going to be acting in the city again. <laughs> How did the arrow feel? Awful. Mm -hmm. I and have so... more. Get upstairs. No. Who? Who? Are... Wait. So you're you're looking for someone? <laughs> you're waiting for someone. Why are no. You here? We've been. <laughs> and um. One of the other vampires. Oh, vampires. They took. He took. He takes off the hair. Uh, <laughs> the hair with just a like. Uh, just a wig. Mm -hmm. Takes out a takes out a fake thing. Like, <laughs> okay, York. So the deal is this. <laughs> yeah. Which actor? Which voice see? is worse? <laughs> no, you guys, look. I can explain. And he pulls out like a pair of glasses. So she actually the gig is. <laughs> We're just actors. Um, and Harry and Arkal, you know, they're an item. They've been together for a while, and Harry I had this idea to come down here for some, I don't know, I never heard of it, she called it something like method acting, it's weird, and she thought it would be a good idea to, you know, <laughs> test our skills down here, because it's just, you know, I mean, no offense, but the people coming through here aren't really, you know, most of them are just drunk to take a bet, and we thought, you know, would be fun. Uh, and, uh, you know, the first group that we actually, uh, we, we didn't want to, you know, uh, take any money from them. Uh, but they were like, oh, please don't hurt us. 
we'll give you all we have. And Art Call was like, oh, he wanted, you know, acting doesn't really pay much, at least not in our degree. Uh, and then and, and, and he took the money and uh, he said we should stay and then and, and take more money. And Harriet wanted to stay anyway, and her father is the boss, and like he owns the theater that, that we play in, and then and, and we're just afraid that we're never going to get any acting job again. And, and, and that, 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 like, that's it. Holds a hand up. Like, e enough. Enough. You, you've been down Fairly here certain... robbing from people? I mean, it's. it's I mean, it's, Yeah, but. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Most people don't even have ten gold to come through here. We just take the bits of copper they have, and then we leave. Also, Dernan needs the co needs the gold to bring us back up again, and we might have forgotten to bring more to get it back up. So, we, 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 here's what's some way to happen. You will hand over all the gold that you stole. And take enough gold to pay Dernan to get back. And you will we leave We can't... Place. No, if you don't understand. We can't leave. Not without Harry and Otka, and they'll never agree. And there's a, there's, no, 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 no. And uh, Harry especially, no. She's... She thinks she's the greatest actress ever. And she's, she's... No, no, no. And especially now that she found this new friend of hers. A, no, no. She's she's convinced we, we, we can cover out... Uh, well, we can stay a little while here. We want to leave, but we can't. Okay, where are they? They're, they're up in their in their own. They have their own room. No, it's, we don't want to disturb them. What here? Yeah, they are just a bit down the hall. We we have our rooms. We have our own quarters. And they are they have their own behind like the the throne room. But they're not going to leave. I'm I'm telling you. Yeah. You like, should be warned that we have killed an ooze not terribly far from here. Oh, look, we are aware of the dangers. There's a there's a whole group of bugbears down in the south, but they've been fooled by by our, you know, vampire dress stuff, I mean, like by our acting. Well, it was clear that we were not, we were fooled, but not particularly intimidated. So. Perhaps your method of getting shot for your art <laughs> Look, may need some revision. You believe this? And we were prepared to kill you. Which proves my point. <laughs> I'd still and now like that to you've do demonstrated it. your technique, perhaps you can return to the surface. Look, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to talk to Haria. I'm. Uh... That's that's you. No, no. Mm -mm. Look, she she has this new friend, like this big guy, and love. No, no. Mm -mm. Just to I'm, the... I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Just to the rest of the group. Um, I'm gonna ask. I would, probably, I would remember this because I think I have the. Oh, you okay? Thank you. Um, I have the keen mind feet, so mm -hmm. I would remember. Didn't someone ask us about this troop? Uh, you in particular, particular, you in particular, had heard some rumors about um, a group of uh, young actors descending and not coming back up for a while. Ah, that's right. Okay. Look. Okay. How about this? We want to leave the four of us, but we can't. We're going to lose our job, and acting is the only thing we can do. And if if Harrier is dead, he's he's a he's a mean idiot. <laughs> he's going to ruin our job prospects for us in in the entire town. And we can't leave Waterdeep. Our families live here. Could you talk to them? Could you convince them to leave? If you know, if maybe some grown ups talk to them, some adults. Same, you know. But it's. Yeah. Oh, fine. We will talk to them. Where are Thank they you. exactly? In which direction should we be heading? Are you sure um, I can't just waste them? They're children. They're 
harmless, very squishy little people. They shouldn't be in the gene pool. Oh. Well. And that's not nice. <laughs> no, they are no actual threat to anyone. They are merely playing on people's fears, which, if the people are falling for it, is at least somewhat their fault. Okay, point us, point us in the direction that we that we're good mm. friends, and you stay here until we return. Uh, you, you have to go up north, uh, like up the stairs, uh, and then there's you go to left, go to the through the door, you enter the throne room, and like on the right side of the throne, there's another door, and that leads directly into their room. But uh, I like be careful, like. I'd knock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll knock, all right. <laughs> um, is everyone happy to to carry on this way? Shall we? Shall we go and speak to these people? We can't leave these children here. It's my thinking exactly. Yeah, I'm up for going. How much money have you collected? Could you get back up? Yeah, I, I I guess so. Uh but I I I'd call he he keeps all the money we we just get the scraps. DM, how do you spell those names? Harriet? Um uh, Haria. Uh H A R R I A. And um Oh, it's Akhtar, not at call. I keep uh, it's U K T R T A R L. U K T R. No, U K T A R L. Octarl. Octarl. What a dumb name. <laughs> yeah, that's a dumb name, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's head out then. We'll head north. Mm -hmm. Everyone. Uh, okay. Fine. I'll be last out the door, and if they're watching us go, I'll turn around and be like... <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they scramble back and... As I Sorry go, I, again! I give every one of them a uh, tangle. But like, sneakily, I just like, sort of go... Oh. I just give everyone tangles. They have like, eyes like this. Did we see that? <laughs> Did any of us see that? If she, if she tried to do it sneakily, and I don't think you're going to act as anyone doing that, and she has the skills. I, don't think so. I got skills too. <laughs> Are you actively watching uh, Gendry? Um, no, but my passive perception is 18. Do you want to make it? Uh, uh, do you want to be sneaky about it, Gendry? Do you want to roll? That's what I'm uh, asking, basically. Yeah. Do you don't mind like being yeah. All right. So, in that case, you might uh, actually see it. Total of 16. Yeah, you've seen. <laughs> As we leave and go down whatever hallway they just said, you're only encouraging them, you know. Maybe kids need encouragement. Hmm. To do stupid things? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Darwin Award. That's the spirit. <laughs> so is it this way? Yeah. Uh, I said north, right? So we're going to head this way. Yeah. Yeah. Head. This way. I don't seem to have, like, any of the dynamic lighting on my token. Oh. So Oh, sorry. It enable. Uh, let me quickly. Mm. That work. Is that better? Um, yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool. I'm like walking along, composing a song about the vampire. Vampires are dwarves. Meow, meow, dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> wanna be vampire? Wanna be vampire? 
<laughs> Who would want to be vampire? <laughs> <laughs> stupid kids, stupid kids. Yeah, Why having... are we helping you? <laughs> my goodness, you're moving. Burl, can you move her up to where I am? Uh, sure. It's like I think it's a hardware accel hardware acceleration thing. It's like really slow. Yeah, I got it. Thank you. So, up the stairs. Boop. Gone too far. Right. Oh no, come back. Yeah. Trying to move my tokens and move the map at the same time. It's like, <laughs> jeez. Why are you so slow? Hardware acceleration. That is the best. Does everyone remember the directions? Uh, North, left. You've probably been paying attention. Prone. Right. Cool. Go the left. It's fine. Come on, old man. <laughs> I know, you may be right Should I move? Mike, yeah. I'm good because I'm moving the map <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> no. Trying to do both. I'll move Theron. Is a bit. Thank you. Really oh, should just get Theron on a cart and hook it to borrow. Yeah. Well, technically, if I'm yeah. if, if there's space, then I'd be riding on her back. To be fair. I mean, these always are ten feet wide and ten feet high, so there's more than enough space. Yeah. Feel free to just keep moving me along behind everyone else. They did say up and to the left, right? North and to the left? Yes. I think so. Alright. And then... And then there's a door and we should knock? Uh, we yeah, behind the... Behind, behind the, the, the throne. throne. Well, we have to go into the throne room first? Yeah, behind the, behind the throne, I think, is what they said. Okay. So there's uh, there's a door that you find directly in front of you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to open the door? Yes. Check for traps. Traps. Yeah. Sure. If you want to make a uh, investigation or perception check. Both of us. Yeah, sure. If I help her, can if I help him, uh, does can he he just have advantage? I mean, um, you figure to be fair, you figure given that they frequent these hallways, you don't think that this door would be trapped. It would be um, quite unproductive. But if you want, if you want to be safe and want to check, go for it. Also, I think I might be. Disadvantage if I've only got one hand. So I feel that you should do it. <laughs> That's a point. Why don't I do that? <laughs> Just prod in it. Seven plus. What are we doing? <laughs> Checking for traps, door. and that's that's uh what? Investigation. Six. Total of six. <laughs> Looks like a perfectly normal door to you. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. I open it. Good enough for me. <laughs> okay. Alright, you open up the door, and right in front of you, you see the side oh, view of um, a giant, well, not giant, but of a big throne that seems to be made entirely out of bones. Oh, good. The armrests are um, two big snake heads. Um, and there's a green, uh, cushion, um, like seat, like a, um, cushioned seat that you can rest your butt on. Um, wow. also in the middle of the room, in front of these, uh, stairs that you can see there, is a big skeleton of a wyvern that, uh, is, uh, also, that also has some 
some sort of crystals shard or crystal shards um, in between the bones of the uh, of the wyvern. Um, other than that, this bar, uh, room is rather unremarkable. Well, it's um, like seventy feet high, so it's actually it's a nice oh, look, echo. A chair that's finally my size. Do you want to sit down and do a chair? Yeah. I think not. <laughs> snake heads on a chair. I want to look at this whole thing because the how do you make a, a sturdy throne out of bones? That's cool. I want to examine that. I'd imagine it takes a lot of glue. <laughs> yeah, but I want to know, so I have to look it over. Very creative interlocking of bones. Uh, yeah, it's Lincoln logs. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's masterfully crafted. Um, all kinds of bones. Um, that are some of them are bolted together. Some of them might have been glued together. Um, others are actually maybe just like bound together in some way. Mm. Uh, but it looks sturdy enough. This is cool. It's mm. metal as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it, it? Is the back of it like Game of Bones? Game of Bones. <laughs> no, 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 not, not like that. It's. Oh. Um, <laughs> but it's rather on a. Um, uh, whereabouts is the skeleton? Uh, in the middle of the room. Okay, can I uh, uh, can I look that right over? Here. Sure. It's probably the thing I would navigate towards first. Uh, um, it looks pretty old. Um, and so mu it must be dead for quite a while. Um, you see, like these these shards and these splinters of crystal that are lying everywhere. Uh, like a big mess all over the room, but most of them are like in in and between the the skeleton of the wyvern. Mm. Uh, they can look like glass. Um, uh, it's complete on first glance. It doesn't look like anything. Any bones are missing. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, you don't uh, find anything remarkable. Are there any lanterns on the walls? No. There are um, like just holders, like uh, torch Stones. holders, mm -hmm. uh, but they are all empty. Okay. Can I uh, use some of my tinkering tools to like pick some of the crystal up, like in like a pair of tongs or something, so that I'm not touching it, but to take like. I don't know. Can you? I don't know. Can I? <laughs> I would like to. Would can like you to, take uh... a tool and pick something up? I'm not stopping you. <laughs> okay, then I do. I take. Uh, I take some of my tinkering tools, like a, a pair of tongs from my from my tool belt, and uh, pick some of the crystal okay. up, a small enough piece that I can hold. Um, yeah. And investigate, like look at it a little in a little more detail, just see if I can identify like what kind of crystal it is, or where it might have come from, or why it's in the bones. It's um, from first glance, um, it just it looks like a perfect piece of glass. Um, there's no uh, imperfections in there. Uh, it's just purely transparent. Um, if you want to know more about the nature, you can make. Uh, let's see. If you want to figure out in which way this um, crystal broke, you can make a um, investigation check. If you want to find anything, if you want to know anything if it uh, about its magical purposes, if there are any, you can make an arcana check. Um, if you want, you can make a history check to see if there's any um, anything that's ever been said about that before. Okay. There's different ways that you can approach this. Uh, okay, are we... Okay. I'm going to... Okay, so Theron would uh, probably have a look at this more in more detail and summon, <laughs> like, Beryl over. So you would call Beryl over and Beryl will come up um, close to him and 
you press a, a button on the back of Beryl's head um, and Beryl kind of like sits down into like a rigid position and the side of her folds out into what is effectively like a like a workbench it happens like really quickly it just kind of like pops in and it like like a bit like a transformer but like not quite um pops out into a workbench doesn't make the same sound the <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly um but like a really slow kind of clunky version of a transformer um and he'll do I'll have a look at kind of look at the crystal in more detail and try and find out if it has any magical properties so i'll do a right. kind of check on that which is not good <laughs> oh that's not good uh, uh i guess it takes a while like running different kinds of tests yeah maybe like uh 10 minutes or so if everyone's happy to to wait what are uh, all the others doing judging head um... ah! Checking out the room further, see if there are um, little objects in corners, um, <clears throat> weird weird bits of wall, secret passages, maybe. You see two more drawers to the north. Um, and just from uh, pure, from the first look, you don't see any secret doors or passages, right? Passage. Passage. Doors. Secret doors. Okay. What about the rest? What are Varric and Copper Kettle? I'm gonna hop onto the big chair. <laughs> Set <clears throat> myself down onto it. <laughs> Alright! Yes. As soon as you sit <laughs> down <laughs> on the chair... <laughs> Demon Cat. Uh, Uh, let me just make two rolls for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> uh... Wait, something's about to happen. How do you know? The theme music's changed. <laughs> um, again, for no reason, what's your armor class? <laughs> um, 14. As you sit down... You kind of, it's actually quite comfortable. You kind of wiggle around to find uh, a comfortable sp uh, space. Um, the two snake head armrests start to animate. They raise up, but you're quite small, aren't you? Hmm? You are quite small, like a uh, copper kettle is pretty yes, small. Yes, I'm small and rotund. All right. Oh, um, I this, this chair is constructed for for a humanoid, well, not a humanoid for a human. Um, you're usually larger, so you're very, very lucky because <laughs> this trap is also constructed for a, a human of larger size. Because both heads raise up, turn, and bite like right over your head. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear clink, clink. <laughs> and like uh, little drops of something something like drop down like in front of you on the uh, uh, on the cushion and it sizzles a bit and then the snakeheads lower down again and they rest still <laughs> I'm just like still perfectly happily contently sitting on it. Like... <laughs> that was neat. Fancy. And your chair protects you. <laughs> <laughs> I like this chair. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're welcome to it. So, Mark, uh, what did you roll in your Arcana chair? I rolled a nine. Um, you think this is um, just plain class? Okay. Um, after after um, checking, he just kind of like tosses the the glass to the back to the bones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You find you find no magical veins or anything, no traces of magic. Okay. Um, 
And, I've, I've, and I've, as you throw it away, and it hits the the bone, it shatters again. Okay. Um, and I Can I very, uh, the on cast on detect magic? Yeah, go for it. At what are you um, casting? It? At the crystals shards, or? No, it's just like a general area spell. Okay. Um, I should know, like, if anything within thirty feet of me is magical. Thirty feet. Uh, you're sitting on the chair. All right, good. Um, you don't actually. Um, no, you don't find. No, you would. The uh, the throne seems to be magical, like especially the armrests. Um, they emit magic, uh, animation magic, in particular. Um, but other than that, uh. No. If yeah, and I think the if the spell should be should stay up for like about ten minutes. So I'm okay. just like, yeah, I already knew the chair's magical, and I'll just kind of like move towards everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm currently very loudly knocking on this door. No response. <laughs> Uh, you remember um, that they said the door was on the right of the throne. Yeah. Shit. As uh, as as I finish, <laughs> like I I push the button on barrel again, she falls back up into her normal, um, and I see Gendry doing this, and I'm like, I think it's this one, and like point in the direction. Shit. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. No, yeah. not, I'll just not like walk one, around so... checking for magical things, I guess. Uh, once you get to this door, <laughs> you uh, notice a another um, magic aura of like magic of is it uh, is animation a school of magic? No, enchantment maybe. Enchantment, yeah, probably. Yeah, the one that makes stuff. Uh, oh no! Actually, no. You, uh, you. It's a, uh, it's a necro necromancy kind of magic that you uh, notice behind that door. Oh, the one I'm at. Good. No, this one down here <laughs> behind the throne. Down there. Oh, okay. Like everybody else is standing at that door. <laughs> <Okay. and> like, <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> no! Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> That's the only magic in the room. That's the only magic you can notice, yes. Okay, I'll let everybody else know, I guess. Hmm. Dead magic in there. <laughs> Dead magic. Hmm. That's uh. Well, that's not good. good. I look at uh. Nice. Varric. I kind of give him like the nod. Yeah, that's not a great sign. And ready my Make weapon. a make a perception check. Who? The one who's standing at the door. Okay. I'm I'm still perception. kicking at my door. You're still kicking at my door. Probably no dice. For Everybody that. but Gendry. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five. Um, oh. Perception. Twenty five. Nice. Uh, ten. Sometimes the dice are good. Ten for me. Mm -hmm. I can't add. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> what? Twenty-two. All right. Um, Copper kettle and grackle. You hear a deep and um, very rhythmic snoring, like a very rhythmic. As tiny people. <laughs> As tiny people, we're used to, um, I at least am used to guessing the size of things before they can get on me and attack me. Does this sound like a large creature or something roughly? Um, this sounds like, a, with your exceptional um, perception check, 
you you think this is a rather large um, man snoring. You also, whenever there's a short um, break between the snoring, like when you hear um, a um, between the snores? It's, it's, it's basically, it's going on continuously, but the only reason that you can hear it is because like uh. he's inhaling, stopping, exhaling. And in between in, in and exhaling, there's a short, brief pause. And that's when you hear the... Uh, the... Okay. <sighs> this is a troll in the dungeon! Like my ears perk up at the door and I'm like I start to purr along with the snoring. <laughs> <laughs> my ears also perk up and then flatten. Um uh, I don't know see this and, and say, is there someone in there? Someone snoring and also something Droning. Hmm. Droning. Humming. Droning. Maybe we should go in quietly. Right, that's a job for me. I I'll call over. Uh, I call uh, over. Like, this door doesn't back. work! <laughs> <laughs> They're not answering! How rude of them! <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll start checking the door for traps. Yeah, make your roll. Natural twenty. Nice. Perfectly normal door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so I'll test and see if it's. It's not. I want to get my short bow ready. No, I don't. No, I don't. I want to poke my head in. All right, you open the door. Mm -hmm. Now everybody can hear the snoring and the. I will be Come making on. a religion check again because that don't sound right. That's. Uh, another total of 20. Um, do I hear zombie? You, uh, do you certainly hear, hear undead? Um, you rolled really high, but, like, that's a very universal undead sound. <laughs> um, Sounds like mindless undead yeah. as opposed to... Could, yes. It could be could be a zombie, uh, for all you or know. A ghoul or, or a ghoul. Are actually vaguely intelligent. Zombie yeah, is probably not a skeleton because all they do is creak. Yes. Um, shall, shall we sneak? That's probably a good idea. No. I'm gonna go back out the door, close it behind me, and I don't know the bit about. Things being undead, really but I'll just mention what the increased sound that I heard when I went inside. Yes, mm. that uh, that that sounded like undead to me. Undead what? Not a clue. So the leader of this. Unfortunately, of mindless undead. Yeah, it's hard to say. It's possible. Um, either way, it sounds whatever that was underneath or behind the snoring was mindless undead of some kind. Hmm. Well. Yeah, I don't want to wake them up. Should we go in and try and figure out what's up or just let it go and tell them that their friends are dead? Well, we only know that maybe one of them is dead. We need to find out what this other thing is. Yes, somebody wandering around making undead is. And this needs to be dealt with. Hmm. Does it though? 
It does. <laughs> I have now realized oh, that we don't have wrong. a cleric in the party. We, uh, mm -hmm. we... I don't want to be wandering around here if there's someone... All right, creating well, zombies. Who's quiet? I'm quiet. I'm quiet. I'm not quiet. Uh, <laughs> stay back. I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> that means yes and no. <laughs> Surprisingly, for all that Varrock is not particularly quiet, he's also not particularly noisy. His armor doesn't seem to clink and clank as much as it should. Hmm. Nice. As you were so, discussing this, you can just hear Theron's like little frame thing just whirring in the background. So I'm not particularly quiet either. <laughs> <laughs> also, your giant metal bear. Yeah, bro, just goes. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Everybody who's really quiet, we go. And the loud people don't come in until it gets loud. Yeah? Fair enough. Come on, up it up. Okay. Rogue mission. I was just about to <laughs> do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get in here and let James Bond our way around the corner, so Who's who's going? Um, well I'm going. Who's coming with? There are three sneaky, one not so sneaky, and one very not sneaky. And his bear. Uh, his bear bot. For the sake of for the sake of the stream, I'm gonna send Burl with you, uh, but she won't be there. If that makes sense, just so we can see what's going on. Um, can I give like a bardic inspiration to the ones who are trying to sneak? Yes, sure. before we go in, that would be great. Cool. Yeah, let me do that. Um, also, everybody should see everybody's slide. Is that not the case? Uh, nope. I can only see my. Everybody, what? I only see my own light. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not what I set up. All right. Uh, yeah. So something I have to worry about at a later point. Um, yeah. Let's um, let's just for camera purposes keep um, um, keep the barrel with you. Maybe I have to. You know what? Uh, I probably have to do is give control to all players. For you guys. So actually, when we peek through this door, could we see? Um, we couldn't see anything in the first part of the hall, could we? Uh. We, we just it zigs and then it zags. Right. Okay. Can I? Can I? Yeah, that's true. Uh, yes, exactly. Okay. I think I can see other people's line of sight now. Yeah, I'm changing it step by step. I think I could always see everybody's uh, visual. Yep. Right. That's oh, all. Cool. <clears throat> right, so oh, what's the saying. plan? Right. So Gregor uh, is in front? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. Gendry and I should probably go and try, try, um, try sneak attack. Do we get that at this level? I think so. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We, we'll we'll stealth ahead. So, as you peek around the corner, um, you see in the background, in one corner, you see a cot, and uh, within you see a heap, which you presume to be someone sleeping because the snoring is most definitely coming from there. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, in front of it, not looking in your direction, yeah. uh, stands a giant uh, humanoid figure. Figure? Mm -hmm. Figure. Mm -hmm. Either way. <laughs> um, that looks. Dum, 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 dum. Where's my player handout? Uh, come on. Yeah. 
you see this. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Oh, oh, that looks nasty. Oh, good. Oh, and now my window just closed. How did that happen? Oh. No. I don't know. Your window just noped out of here. <laughs> it did. Apparently, my window does not like that thing. Flash going. Hello. <laughs> Your browser just closed, so to protect yourself. <laughs> That's a solid uh, strategy. Self defense. So the golem is not sleeping either. Um, the is golem is not sleeping. No. no. It's standing there looking at something. It's looking um, southwards. It's this looking in, so loading. Like in this direction. Mm -hmm. Have you. Um... Okay. Ah, there you are. Hmm. What do you guys do? It's not even remotely creepy. I'm just trying to get back my freaking window. Where is everything? Okay. Um, quick, quick, quick question, actually. Can I fire a hand crossbow while having a sword in my hand? Uh, yeah, hand crossbow is one. Once. Reloading it would Once. be a bit of a pain. Yeah. So, yeah, like, I can fire it, a problem. reload it, fire it, sort of thing. Yeah, reloading it with one hand is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so your class is no fighter. <laughs> God's <me. laughs> Um... Hmm. It's also given that it's it, I, uh, it was a long sword, if I remember mm -hmm. correctly, a long sword for a human. So for you, it's it's a big sword. So essentially, for me, it's two-handed. For you, it's two-handed. Yes, definitely. Okay. It's a zwei-hander for you. Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's okay, also I'm like, did you keep the uh, sheath uh, Verov gave you? No. no, you took it back, I think. Okay, so you need to find something to store it safely. <laughs> I've just been waving it about. <laughs> Tapping doors with it and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you guys do? The golem hasn't noticed you yet. Um, the snoring continues. Um, you have four teenagers uh, waiting for you to return with good news. Man, remember when we shot those teenagers? <laughs> that was a good time. It was a mistake. Just a moment. Uh, Where are we looking at? Uh, get, let's get everyone in here, maybe. If we're gonna do that. <laughs> If we get all the noisy people, we aren't going to have sneak attack. Mm. But we do right now because they are not facing it. So make I say, a uh, make a stealth check with your bardic inspiration, if you like. Mm -hmm. And what's the die roll? One d six. D eight. A d eight. D eight. D eight. That's good to know. Thank goodness that's. Plus eighteen total. Mm -hmm. Nice. The rest of you? I don't think I could get sneak attack. I think I'd have to be in there. No, no, just no, no, just roll stealth. You're trying oh, to be just... stealthy and uh, natural twenty. So that means yeah. you're invisible. Thirty. <laughs> Copper Damn. <laughs> oh, um, what is my sneak? That's also a natural 20. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Virtual high five. Uh, yeah, you're still un uh, you're still undetected. You're uh, you're discussing your battle plan. We still five five. 
Yeah, just barely. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then I think it's gonna go like this. <laughs> and I hope that you can see me because I can't see you because I've just got spinning little dials on my screen for both you. And okay, I saw you. I'm going to, like, mouth to you, like, shall we get the big ones? Shall we get the big ones? <laughs> I don't know if you're going to attack uh, or you're going to get us. We're going to get you. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about this, though? Um, um, uh, you can see me, right? On yeah. the screen? Okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not the sleeping uh -huh. one, just the big ugly guy. Just the big <laughs> ugly guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can I speak? Can I, have I ever spoken to like Bear? If I spoke to Bear, would would like she be understand? Like just understand me? Oh, she she's technically not there. I was just for the camera, actually. But uh, oh, it's just for the camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can actually move her back. Um, now, or not. How do I get to it? Um, okay. Varok and Faron. Yeah. Um, the little ones have been in this room for roughly two to four minutes now. <laughs> and you haven't heard a single sound yet. Uh, we... Just miming at each other. <laughs> We're just... Should, should we... I'm just Patronize. assuming that that's... I'm assuming that that's some function of Thieves' Camp, that we can totally understand each other. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you rogues, you both have Thieves' Camp, yeah. All right, so <laughs> Thieves' Camp, the silent version, uh, is going to be, let's both aim at the big, ugly guy and leave the sleeping one alone, because that might be Harry as friend. Mm-hmm. I can't, I, uh, I'll, I'll mimic back um, that I can't do range. Because I am stuck. Just wave the big sword. The big sword. Yeah, waving big sword. <laughs> so. Well, then it's just on me. Yeah, and I'll go okay. get the big sword. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got a question. Go on. Mm -hmm. If I cast fairy fire on them, would that give away that there we are here? Mm -hmm. On on the uh, on Grackle and on Gendry or on what would no, you, do on, you want to on on the dudes? Um, it would certainly be suspicious. Yes. Okay, uh, so we would lose their sneak attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you could do it like in concert with a sneak attack. Yeah, if you go like second. Okay. Before anything happens, I'm gonna go like this, and I'm gonna like wave down the bigger people. Like uh, Theron kind of sees this through the door, and, and <laughs> so should we come? Should... Oh, okay. And then <laughs> is, this some, is this some sort of new millennial thing? I don't understand. <laughs> is it, we're doing this through interpretive dance. This is a new way to RP. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, you, no, no, I mean like Theron thinks this is like a millennial. Oh yeah, yeah. And millennial thing. She's such an awful name. <laughs> millennial. Uh, this is what the cool kids uh, are doing these days. Yes. Because he's such yep. a baby boomer. <laughs> Theron's, gonna, <laughs> Theron's gonna like indicate to oh, Varric to go first. Okay. Ooh. I think you're muted, Lance. Can't hear you. Sorry about that. Was that right? had had to change over my headphones because the uh, wireless was running out of battery. Um, Varak attempts to sneak and rolls a six. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, then I've got no choice. I fire. Uh, okay. <laughs> so first things first. This is gonna show. Um, <laughs> Varak. Um, walks through the door, but he kind of um, 
his hits his elbow or his shield or whatever, whatever in the top frame. Uh. Makes a loud song. Uh, it makes a loud sound. The golem goes. Shoot! Shit! Okay, so yeah, I have to shoot it. Turns out this flash golem is uh, mostly parts uh, Tim Allen. So it goes. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 oh. So I just lost sneak attack. Is that what we're saying? Uh, I I'm I'm afraid so. Yes. Um... Bugger. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> okay. But you still get to make your attack roll. I'm go still going to give you the first attack. Um, but you're not going to get a sneak attack for it. Thank you. Because I. Uh, and after that, we're going to roll for um... initiative. Right. Plus, plus eight is twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one. Uh, that does hit, yes. Yay. Oh, damage. I rolled a one. Okay, six total. Six damage. All right. Uh, let me actually zoom in. Zoom down too much. Six points of damage. <laughs> yes. I rolled a one on my d6. Oh, so, actually, um... No, don't be. Oh. There. Wait. Oh, I did not know it was a third person. We don't know uh, that yet, so you don't know it. True, true. <laughs> Alright, um, the... Partial squares, I was trying to move between... This yeah, one is... and this one and you know just poke my face out but just walls in the way okay. so your arrow hits it doesn't seem to be too faced by it it kind of looks at it okay. slowly turns its head back <sighs> no disturb master <laughs> Do I hear this from outside the hall? Oh yeah, that's okay. very loud. The snoring. <laughs> no. Don't disturb. Uh, you uh, 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 <laughs> and um, yeah, the snoring stops. But we're uh, rolling for initiative. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 17 for me. Oh boy. My initiative. Oh. Nine. Three. I just realized my movement speed's like down by five. Um, it's gonna be a pain. Greco, what's. What's your initiative, Greco? Nine. Nine? Oof. Copper kettle? Twenty-three. Nice. Nice. Gendry? Nineteen. And... Varok? Thirteen. Alright, um... Copper kettle, it's your turn. What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna do what I was planning on. I'm just gonna waddle up front and cast fairy fire on the three I see. All right. And that's the dexterity saving throw from each of them. Um. Um. Not gonna um, roll for. Um, to tune the back because they're still asleep or in the midst of waking up, but the golem to roll for that's an 18. Uh, 18 passes. All right. Uh, so 
that case it's uh it's now marked right so you get advantage on on hitting yeah, it yeah uh, whoever fails the dexterity saving throws, um, everyone has advantage against hitting me. That one. All right. So, yeah. Oh, the golden pass is the... Sorry. All right. I get it. Sorry. So it uh, spell fizzes. Right. So the two in the back managed to get lit. Oh yeah, they they light up, but but the golem, the golem does, does not. Yeah, and after I cast that, I'm just gonna waddle my way back. Why can't I click myself? Click. Are you stuck in the wall? Is that it? Let me move you a bit. No, uh, no it just won't let me click my token. Oh, d uh, did you? Uh, Aim at the ruler. Switch to pen view. Like on mm. the top left. Is it a small hand instead of a mouse cursor? Yeah, where, yeah, pointer. Okay. Where, where do you want to move from to move you? Uh, just move back to where I was before. I might have to reload this. Hold on. Um. Anyway, I, I just moved back, so you can move to the next person. All right, so it's now Gendry's turn. Mm. Slightly hyperventilating. <laughs> ah! And I run forward. <laughs> I think that's my limit. <laughs> <laughs> tiny legs. <laughs> Big hard um, tiny legs. All right. And then as a I think it's a sorry to do it. Wait, what's your what's your movement speed? Mine is oh shit, it's twenty-five. Hold on, so I'm there. Um Wait, what did you do? Oh twenty five for a ro uh, rogue? That seems a bit Low. It's not uh, dependent on class, it's not dependent on your race. Yeah. Because oh, right. I'm a gnome. Uh, oh, okay. Gnome has little tiny feet. Your it's speed okay, should like be about that. the same. But where did you where did you start? Uh, at, the, at the corner. Yeah, 25 like, would be back where you were, I think. Is that right? Oh, it was that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah? I just thought yeah. you, oh, I thought oh, you had be. more movement speed. No, you did. Um, and then I would like to cast Blindness. On the golem. Alright. Uh, do I have to roll a t um, saving throw? Um, or do you have to. Um, oh, I have a feeling that's a constitution hit. saving throw. Yeah, it's constitution. Oof. Oh no. Oof. Please, natural one. Please, natural one. <laughs> I don't think you I've got You can do it, golem. Fail hard. Uh, that's a 19. Uh, yeah. Ouch. That succeeded. That and is I just... so not a natural one. Oh. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> I'm, I'm like still mid adrenaline, but like the senses <clears throat> are starting to kick in, and I just stay there. Alright. Uh, it is now uh, Ferron's turn. Okay, tell me if this is like super OP or I'm breaking something. But can I take an action to mount? Barrel, mm -hmm. and then use until barrel to charge in, and I'll just use barrel's movement speed to get to where I need to go. Um, or is that like given that you're basically, uh, I mean, you have to give up your action, so you you're spending two rounds anyway to mount and to dismount mm -hmm. because barrel is so big. And you're so small and frail. Yeah. Um, unless Beryl is helping you in some way to uh, to get up, but it would still take you, uh, I'd okay. say, roughly six seconds. Uh, so entire turn. And I'd have to get because I'm I'm pretty far away. Considering I what's can... what's Beryl's movement speed? Uh, forty. Forty. Yeah. So twenty-five to there. 
and then yeah, twenty five to there. I mean, so yeah, uh, you have to. You're not moving through the corner. You have to go up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then here. I don't think it really makes any difference, does it? Five, twenty-five, forty. So barrel could get to here. It, I mean, uh, I'll allow it, but you need, you're going to spend an action to mount and to this. Yeah, uh, forget it. It's fine. I'll just tell. Uh, okay, as my bonus action, I'm going to command barrel to head in, um, and then I'm I'll use all my movement speed to yes. move as far ahead as I can. I'll be right back. I'm just going to open up a window. Twenty-five. So move up to here. <laughs> Move token. Oh, why won't you work? Because Vienna's getting super hot this time of the year. 10, 15, 20, 20, 30, Oop, lens disappeared. Yeah, it hiccuped on me for some reason. Weird. Yeah. Go. Oh, Maybe it was yeah. finally settling itself down because my video now looks fabulous. <laughs> uh, yeah, and can you move barrel to here? Oh. Oh, can you not pick up? Where to? Where do you want to go? Uh, two above grackle. I can't actually even do the ping thing, which is annoying. Yeah, that's what. Uh, I moved it. Great, and then as an action, is there anything I can actually do that would be useful here? <coughs> what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, okay. As I get up to just behind Greco, I'm going to cast um, Heroism as a con concentration spell. Um, it says, any willing creature you touch is imbued with bravery until the end of the spell. Creature is immu immune to being frightened and gains temporary hit points equal to my spellcasting modifier. Mm -hmm. um, nice. So if Greco is willing, I will give her uh, some extra hit points, which I think is... Uh, what is that, actually? Oh, where do I find... Oh, three. Sorry, three extra hit points. Not, like, a massive amount, but it is a level one spell. Um, and you're immune to being frightened. Awesome. Thank you. So, Crackle, you feel this surge of confidence rushing through you. Um... And you feel I feel like almost could... three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Theron, Theron comes up and, and taps you on the shoulder, like kind of out of breath because he's had to run quite a bit. He says, <laughs> you can do this. And then as he taps you on the shoulder, you feel like a little kind of contraption just attached to the back of your uh, your armor. And it generates this kind I of don't... warmth. Do I and... have armor? Or just the back of your clothing, I suppose. And uh, it generates like a kind of warmth that imbues the magical effect. Alright, is that all you want to do? Uh, that's the end of my turn. Yep, that's all I can do. Right. Um, it is now the golem's turn. And yeah. since you haven't really heard it yet, it's uh, still just standing there and it's repeating Do not disturb master! It just stands there. That's all it does. <laughs> okay. Eric, it's your turn. I have 30 movement. So, two, three, four, five, and six. And uh, let me just take a look at something really quick. I should be able to just oh yes okay 
So targeting the undead abomination and firing off magic missile. All right. It gets no saving throw. Yeah, roll for damage. Magic, magic missile is a nine. magic damage. Nine force damage. Force. Um, bum, 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 bum. All right. Uh, this is the first time that you seem to actually have struck a nerve. Is magic missile like three bolts? Yeah, it's three bolts at one one d four plus one each. Mm -hmm. But they're all targeted towards it. So it hits it three times. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it just moves back a little bit. With... <laughs> No! Disturb! Oops, I moved the wrong character. This is where I should be standing. There we go. Is there anything else you want to do? Nope, there's nothing else I can really do. <laughs> Movement attack, I could fire off, I... No, I can't do anything. Hmm. Bonus action? I do have a bonus action, I could cast a smite spell. But I'm not sure how that jives with actually using Divine Smite. Mm. So I'm not going to play with those numbers right now. All right. Mm. In that case, it is Greco's turn. I... I hold my fire and ask the Flesh Golem, is Master Uktarl? Um. Jesus Christ, fuck. Sorry. I made notes of this. Um. Alright, sorry. Um, he just looks at you and says, Not disturb. Hmm? Um, yeah. And he hasn't moved to do anything at all? Nope. I very slightly lower my bow. And hold hand up for the others. Mm -hmm. And I back up. Um, oh, shoot. I kept thinking that this was me. It's not me. That's somebody else. I'm over here. That's me. Okay. So I've come out here. And I, I hold up my hand for the others. Hold your fire very quietly. Hold your fire. Um, is there anything else you want to do? Let's go. That's the end of the first oh. round of combat. Um, Why am I in the wall? <laughs> oh, how did, you do that? how did that happen? <laughs> oh, wow. So did you cast the pass wall? Let me, let me help you. Pass through wall. <laughs> That's cool. Stone melt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, spaces. roughly, all that happened in the space of roughly, um, like, less than a minute. Uh, and you made quite a ruckus. So did the uh, golem. Um, you notice that the person in here is slowly getting up. The person. The button is up, um, and it's a woman, and she screams at the top of her lungs. Ah, what are you doing in my room? Get Carry out! On. What are you doing? How dare you enter my room? Harriet? 
you can't just come in here. She's hysteric. Actually, I, uh, I had a accent. Like, oh my god, what are you doing <laughs> in my room? How dare you? you come in here? Who are you she guys? You like... creeps? Your friends are looking for you. Who? The actors. Oh, those losers. What are you doing here? You can't just come on here. Did you never heard of knocking on the door? Are we, I'm sleeping. Uh, are we out of combat at this point? Because I'd, I'd, I'd probably move up to kind of join the group. Uh, I don't know. Do you want to keep fighting? No, no. If, 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 we're, if she's... I'm too. If no one's attacking us, then I'm... I'm if the golem doesn't stop. move, then neither will Varok. <laughs> Yes, I will keep fighting. <laughs> keep firing magic missiles. Um, okay, I'm gonna move up then to up to here. Um, the golem actually was looking weirdly. Says, "You disturb, master." No, and he he kind of starts walking towards you, and she says, "Niles." No! Stop it! <laughs> no bloodshed in my room. I told you! He stops. He turns on. <sighs> I'm gonna no walk up to him with, with, with my bow down now. Just walk up to him and, here, sorry about this, and try to take my arrow back <laughs> <laughs> out of his arm, out of his shoulder. Pluck it out. Yeah. There's no, Sorry. there's no, there's no way that you get up there. He's <laughs> tall. Come, He's come, like come seven down. feet tall. Come down, I'll get that out of you. He's not listening. What He's you, just staring blankly ahead. Okay, fine. Cra uh, crazy lady, well, you do know there's a big golem in your room. Well, yes, I put him there. This is Niles. He protects me, and he clearly didn't do his job. <laughs> Did you make Niles? What? They're gonna, Niles. Look, like some... They're gonna look like some wizard nerd. No. <laughs> some wizard Who nerd. did? <laughs> he came up to me. He obviously was charmed by my looks. And he stood with me. And he's actually helping unlike someone else and she looks over and you see um like a big um like bearded guy and he's like what the fuck is going on harry what the fuck i'm trying to sleep damn it woman um uh, your your friends kaden and, and carl i think they're looking for you and they won't leave the dungeon without you. They want to leave? I told them they want to stay, they should stay here. They clearly need training. They clearly need to not be killed in the process of training. Which they very nearly did when we encountered them. Which makes them very good. Mm. They were mm -hmm. quite convincing and almost died for it. Well, what better way to die than in your uh for your art yes but they would never be able to make you any more money that's well, a good question why were they down here stealing from people stealing from people what are you mm. talking about and you see a <laughs> <laughs> we're down here to uh train our acting skills i mean the other nerds they're just you know they're the sideshow i'm the star i'm uh sure. it's not like i need the training but these poor kids they need someone to look up to and given that i'm the main attraction of the theater i uh i felt obliged and i had this genius idea to come down here for our new role we are uh playing a uh, we're going to act uh, in a play about vampires and I thought to myself, Harriet, what better way to study 
for your role than to become a vampire. And here we are. And it was clearly working, as you just said. <laughs> and she looks over to Asko, I told you it was working. And he's like, just... This is so bad, because like... Theron well, if they would... get killed, they're not going to make you any more money, and you're going to look really stupid. Or... <laughs> and you yeah. were the one acting. You were sleeping. Well, I need it. It's my beauty sleep. You need some yeah, of that. Yeah, you do. She actually looks quite attractive. <laughs> um, not, not enough scales. Goblin. Not to a goblin, yeah. Not I mean, enough yeah, scales. Object objectively attractive. <laughs> Theron, Theron is just like resting on his hammer. Just out of breath and so fed up with this conversation. Fucking I kids, right? <laughs> I whistle at the golem and get a ball bearing out and lob it. See if he chases it. No, just <laughs> without any reaction, he's just staring ahead blankly. <laughs> right. So again, what do you want? Like, do you want an autograph or something? Like, who even are you? <laughs> like, you don't know. Like, you don't know. Like, I have to look it up right now. <laughs> I am Harry of Velastar of the Velastar Theater. Like, my father owns the theater? Like, you certainly heard, heard of it. So, Have I? can I just check with the DM? The rumors that I heard, did I hear that his, her father was looking for her? Or was it just that the actors had gone missing? Um, no, you only heard that there's some actor kids went down there, you didn't hear anything about them being looked after. Or sought after. Because part of me is wondering why we're even bothering with this. <laughs> Just let them stay I'm there and the golem. I'm not the sure. other kids ask you to. Yeah. And you agreed. There. So, to run it down again, um, what's basically happened is um, Harry and Atkarl are bullies who um, pressured the other actors into coming down here with the threat of uh, kicking them out of the theater and um, making sure they'll never act in the city again. Right. right. Um, Harry uh, think, um, wants for the reason that she stated she thought this is a perfect way to train acting um, and Aktal um wants to, you know, steal from people. Uh, and the other four are basically um, getting the short end of the stick. You have to do all the dirty work um, for them. And they ask you to help them get out of the situation. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move forward just a teensy wee bit and then say to the lady, right, crazy lady, so... Excuse we've... me? No, you're just, just, you kind of And, um, we've been actually sent here by your father to come get you. Your father? Mm-hmm. He, he sent us especially just to come get you. Really? Mm-hmm. Make a deception check. Ah! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing I'm not good. Can I aid with that? I don't have any skill, but I do have charisma. Um, you might not need to. Uh, you could certainly try on your own too. Yeah. So, what did you? What did you roll? I just rolled a nineteen. Do you have any uh, modifiers on that? Uh, I have, I've, so I rolled a 15 and then I got. Oh, okay, cool. Plus four for deception. Uh, she goes, hmm. Well, he must certainly missed me. I've been gone for a week now. Uh, the fear must be running terribly. Uh, <sighs> well, since you've been so nice to uh, 
go fetch me. Uh, well, Akhtal, I guess it's time to return home. Um, we've done all we could uh, for the little it did for all of you, but uh, I'm so I'm sure I can carry the show on my own. Well, uh, we'll be on our way then. Uh, but you know, if you wouldn't mind to turn around so I can get dressed. Already go leaving. walk yep. over mm -hmm. to Uktarl. Mm -hmm. Lean down nice and close and grin. Big, big toothy dragon grin. lizard dragon grin. Look no what more games like this again. Yes. I uh, I don't. I have no idea what you're, what you're exactly talking, what talking you about. Did. Ah, just. Uh... <laughs> uh, <laughs> because if I ever hear of a group of actors. Stealing from people again. I will find you. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. Over from the door. Can I help? With, um, He'll advantage. do it. He'll do uh, it. <laughs> yeah. With advantage. Everyone just starts well, shuffling to himself. That's <laughs> that's a nineteen total. Um. You. He starts to visibly sweat. <laughs> um and you uh you hear the sound of uh rushing water <laughs> pat him on the that... shoulder with an even bigger grin and say nice talk and then walk away all right <laughs> all right good Bye. So, what do you want to do next? Say bye, crazy lady. I'll stay and stare at the lady because I'm a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pepper Kettle. <laughs> um, I'll head back up to the throne room. Uh, with mm -hmm. Growl and Tool. If I could of my guy that would be super remember yeah. walls are not uh corners even are not opaque you should be able to to move barrel oh well, i think I, I think i know what i was doing i was trying to move oh. through the wall and it was not letting me <laughs> God, <I'm getting> so... <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out the other guys like from the front room you hear i I said, out! <laughs> <laughs> does, does Niles also leave? Nope. Hmm. That was close. <laughs> close to what? Dead, dying. That really? was real, Strange that was real big and scary. Was <sighs> it? I've still got the heroism coursing through my veins. Was it? Really? <laughs> I'm starting to think this dungeon was designed by Madman. <laughs> oh, That's he said the, the rumor, name of the yeah. thing. He said the name of the thing. <laughs> he did it. He did a thing. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> I, I, have yet to, I have yet to find a straightforward <laughs> encounter in here. <laughs> okay. Everything's twisty. That's my fault. <laughs> Uh, if we head back to the throne room, the throne room, um, mm -hmm. and I can see the two doors, or I knew the two doors were to the north of the mm -hmm. room, I'm gonna go check them out. All right. I'm just gonna yeah. sit on the throne again now that I know that there's snakes. <laughs> you sit down, and the exact same thing happens. Think. <laughs> That's really <laughs> I shout over and it's like, there's no one there. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you, you see people it? through the door? 
you see small oh, indentations no. from where the pommel of the sword was. <laughs> Um, I'm going to check the door uh, to the left here. Okay. Uh, this one, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a second. Just a second. Oh, yep. This is going to be the explosive door. I know it. Sorry, it's raining, and I had the window open, and I had to make sure it's not raining. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> in. Yes, those are no fun. Nope. That would be bad. Uh, all right. Um. Yeah, there's looks like a perfectly normal door. Um. In general, all the doors you've seen so far have been. All all the visible, not secret doors have been just standard. Wooden doors with uh, metal hinges and um, uh, handles stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just going to be brave and try and open the door. All right, you open the door. Let me just move the... Let me open the door for you. Just a time alert. I'm going to need to leave the house in half an hour. No, we need to stop anyway in like five minutes, so yeah. don't worry about it. Um, the first thing you see as you open the door mm -hmm. is a large fresco. It is covering the entire north wall, which is why you it's the first thing you see. Right. And it's depicting um, like a large mountain and uh, hollowed out caverns. And as you um look at it closer mm -hmm. you see uh tiny sculpted figures of dwarves um and carved rays of brilliant sunlight fanning out behind the mountain uh and to the edges of the wall it's um masterful craft that looks awesome uh, and that's along this back wall opposite the door yes okay it's a big fresco um it's the entire room is um, about 40 feet high, uh, and this wall, um, like, it's the entire wall from bottom to top. Hmm. Looks wow. Pretty, pretty badass. Okay. Can I, uh, I, I would like to see if I could recognize the scene, or, mm -hmm. or what it's trying to depict, I guess. Make a perception check. Oh, it, be in the eight. meantime, could could um, Kendry's got an idea, right? Mm -hmm. so they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna pour oil over their hand with the sword. The butter trick, yes. <laughs> and if when that doesn't work, uh -huh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get my candle out and light it and set my hand alight to see. If I can burn off the skin and trick it into thinking I'm still holding it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this took a dark turn no. right at the end. That's good. All okay. right. Good. We're going to get to that in a second. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, behind us, Gendry's just on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you see Grackle and Farron just. Oh, what's this? <laughs> this is <the> background. <laughs> 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 I mean, even Varok is joining in because he's going to make a history check on the fresco. All right. What did you guys roll? Uh, 19 16. for me. All right. Uh, history check. Eight. Oh, history. History. Not, did, I thought we were rolling perception. Oh, I no. said perception, yeah. If you're looking for something, it's perception. If you want to make a uh, history check, you can make a history check to learn about what this is. But if you just want to check out the thing and see if there's anything special about it, it's perception. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll do the perception check. Alright. So, you rolled a 19 and Greco was 14? I had 16 on perception. 16. Okay. I'd also like to check on history, but that'll wait. Alright. Um, first of all, Varok, um, you don't um, seem to recall anything this 
um, seems to be a fresco about dwarves in the mountain. But from your knowledge, it could be any clan. It could be any. Um, for Greco and for Ferron, as you take a closer look, you see that actually um, one of the tiny dwarf figures is loose. Something, it looks like it could be moved or pulled out or something. Uh, I want to check it for traps. Go for it. Why am I rolling such crap? Uh, you guys are 11. Total of 11. Looks fine to you. Uh, oh, uh, I will assist. Can I assist with that? With a check for traps? Do you have a... Uh... Trained. Uh, I guess he would be. It's just investigation, right? Yeah. Make an investigation check, yeah. Uh, I think. No, what I'd probably do is just aid um, Greco in doing it. So I'd, I would just. just also it's look it's raining it. a lot now. I'm just very paranoid. Okay. I think you might be better at checking for traps than I am. So I'd probably just give you <laughs> an assist in that. Bye. Thank you, because I hope that works, because I hope I'm better at checking traps than I am. Because I keep rolling just absolute dreck. Mm. Okay, sorry. So, what was that? I think what I'd probably do is assess Greco rather than uh, roll my own perception check. Yeah, what did you roll? I mean... For, the... um... For advantage? Yeah. Okay. Natural one. Oh, oh, no. Absolutely fine to you. <laughs> it looks fine to me. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm... So I'm gonna. Yeah. Sorry. On you go. Just, just in case, stand back. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and press it. And if nothing happens, then I'll pull it. You press the tiny dwarf, and it just rattles around. Nothing happens. It's like it moves, but nothing happens as you press it. You don't press it in or anything. It just. It just rattles. It moves like it's loose. Okay. I'll turn it anti-clockwise. You can't turn it. Can't turn it? Try it clockwise? Nope. Pull it. You pull it out. The tiny dwarf is actually the top of a key. You're holding a key in your hand, and the dwarf is kind of like the part where you hold the key. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Now I want to look for a keyhole. All right. Uh, in the meantime, <laughs> we cut to Gendry, who uh, is on pour, fire. <laughs> pour the oil on uh, on your hand. You now have an oily hand that's still holding very, very firmly onto the handle. <laughs> and you're going to set it on fire? Yep. <laughs> All right. Um, roll a d6. <laughs> okay. <laughs> five. You take five points of fire damage. <laughs> it hurts a lot. And I'll it keeps burning. It. <laughs> keep it's, it's, it. oil, it's an oil fire. You keep throwing uh, bits of flame around. Is someone? Is anyone standing in your vicinity now? It's still on fire. No, I, I'm just, I'm just watching this. Like, <laughs> wow. It's just, there's, an, it hurts a lot. There's now like, there's uh just drips of fire flying everywhere. Like, and where they land, they keep burning. Uh, it smells like bacon. Oh. Uh, yeah. But the bad bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Burn bacon. This, like you'll you know see. what? As, as as it's being like waved around, Copper Kettle's actually gonna like run forward and start. <laughs> 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 Do Roll another d six. Is this how our party Henry? dies? Because this would be yes. embarrassing. Your hand is on fire, and you take continuous <laughs> fire damage. Two. Take Are another two points to... of damage. Barrel, barrel, Are like... you going to scream or something? Do we know you're doing this? 
Yeah, yeah. So at this time, I'm going, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to catch it. This was a horrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> I regret this almost instantly. That's a bad idea. I almost got it. I almost got it. I get, I get the water, my water skin, and like pour it over my hand, and then it's an like, oil fire. Oh shit! I get my like my t-shirt and like just go. Poof. What is your t-shirt made out of? I couldn't tell you. Oh, All right, hold on. <laughs> because unless it's something like. If it's wool, heavy that linen have... or wool or something. Uh, what else would it be made of? Just tell me what it is. Just come uh, up with something now. It's fine. If it's, it's not it's fancy, it's... then it's probably just linen. Yeah, like if it's if fancy, it's then under... it's silk. If it's an undershirt, it's probably linen, and if it's a re... it's an outer shirt, it's probably wool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah. This. <laughs> Let's say cotton. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. <laughs> Your shirt is on fire. <laughs> Theron, Theron's going to come, come through, back through Rolling the door. Rolling out of these six, please. Fuck no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to come back One. through the door. Like, One oh. point of damage. <laughs> Holding my Your chest is on fire now. This is your oh, hand. <laughs> okay, at this point... um. <laughs> Does, does this count as a torch or a small campfire? I would say so, <laughs> yes. Uh, I can't, can I just use press digitation to put her out? Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I could do that. <laughs> Except that I'm not even there and I'm not paying attention. Gendry, <laughs> your right hand is extremely burned. Like, no joke. Mm -hmm. It's bad. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's like beyond third degree burns. <laughs> Your shirt is ruined. <laughs> this plan was horrible. <laughs> it was very yeah, entertaining. <laughs> After the fire's out, I'm like, catch. <laughs> uh, I, just, I, I just sort of like lie to the floor for a little bit. <laughs> the Theron's gonna come like smell of right through. Just with the smell of smoke. And, yeah. uh, is everyone okay? Yeah. You you see you see Gendry starfish on the floor. <laughs> pools pools of tiny like tiny bits of fire like surrounding him. <laughs> you smell burnt hair and skin. How did his how did that? Is, his hand is <laughs> blackened. And still clutching sure. the sword. There's a giant hole in his shirt. <laughs> There's no enemy around. <laughs> and that's what we're going to talk for tonight. <sighs> <sighs> we're gonna we're gonna need a rest after this, but uh mm -hmm. Barak is going to be laying on some hands because that's gonna need fixing. <laughs> yeah. Your hand is no uh, like no joke, your hand is ruined. Charm. My hand is ruined. <laughs> Hey, it's worth a go. Cradle's <laughs> gonna fine. lay on him. Absolutely, too. actually, actually, you know what? Take a point of inspiration for that. It was entertaining. <laughs> it was good role playing. Oh, you went yeah. through with it. <laughs> I've got like two inspirations now. Oh, you yeah. already got one. Yeah, you gave me one for the kill. <laughs> ah, see, you can't have more than one inspiration point at a time. Damn it! Aww. But you would get another one. Yeah. It was a good right. idea. Eight damage. <laughs> could have, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. So much worse. So much worse. <laughs> just waiting for like, someone else to catch fire and it just be like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the entire party's on that's fire. That's how we <laughs> all die. <laughs> yeah. <TPK. laughs> Everybody roll up their characters. <laughs> Dear Diary, Today a rogue almost killed us all by setting himself on fire. That's the best. Is it nearly I could, worse? I could write a song to this. I pull out my trumpet. Let <laughs> <laughs> me sing you the song of my people. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Nobody ate us all. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. <laughs> we don't need no water. Like, oh wait. That's the uh, that's the Billy Joel joke of the day. <laughs> so. That had to happen. Anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys also had a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm glad uh, the situation turned out the way it did. You know, with the <laughs> vampires, not the entire uh, self. Uh, <laughs> Self immolation yeah, thing. For us to get TPK'd by vampires. I was like, oh no. Uh -huh. I um, was so excited to fight vampires, and instead we're fighting stupid actors. <laughs> actors and divas, and someone yeah. setting fire to his own damn self. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, to be absolutely fair, should you have not um, quenched the fire? And the hand would have burned off. You would have gotten rid of the, hand, uh, of the sword. <laughs> I've just got a badly damaged hand now. <laughs> oh no, you yeah. Well, um, I have lesser restoration. That might help. Yeah. It'll, you might it'll take care of the st it'll take care of the status effect. But not the shirt. <laughs> or the, the, the actual damage. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually heal you. I think it restores status effects like maimed. <laughs> That's something However, we'll we'll be looking lay on into. Hands, then lesser restoration. <laughs> it's just be like, it's fine. <laughs> That's something we'll be taking care of next week. Uh, same time, same place. Monday, eight p.m. Universal time. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, how we're going to top that. Or uh, chaos. <laughs> Wait, I can't. That's do that. a challenge. I'm lawful. Somehow, I didn't actually expect any comic relief in this dungeon, and yet here we are. <laughs> it's, fine. it's not Curse of Strahd. Let's be fair. Bang. I love oh, Curse of Strahd. I tried I... Curse of Strahd twice, and oh. both times the group just kind of imploded on itself. <laughs> Uh, I have a lot of hate relationship with Curse of Strahd. Yeah, we got some Curse of Strahd <laughs> stories. I love Strahd. <laughs> one day, one day I will play it again and finish it. <laughs> All right. It could happen. So, is there anything you wanna plug? Any streams or any websites or any Twitters you wanna uh, tell to the internet? Anything you they can check out from you? Yeah, Not sure. Um, I have, uh, well, my Twitter is Day. My Twitch channel is also Starla Day. I have a campaign that I've been in for over four years now on Wednesday evenings, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, it's a lot of fun. We are horrible people, but it's a lot <laughs> of fun. <laughs> a lot of puns. Hey, nice. Anything else? All right. Uh, in that case, um, <laughs> Mark, you uh, remember the dates better than I do. We are playing No Man's Sky with the VR update uh, this week. Yes, on Wednesday. And then there's going to be uh, angry, angry Florida woman cutting people in half on Thursday, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yep. My wife will be playing <laughs> Gears of War. Um, on Thursday nice. night, and I'm shouting at herself, I guess. I don't know where the answer is. Or something. <laughs> um, so that'll be Thursday. Uh, Friday, I think we're gonna try and play something. I'm not quite sure what yet. Uh, and Sunday, we have plans for like a family-friendly Mario Kart type stream in the afternoon. GMT, uh, GMT, or yeah, GMT. <laughs> That's the British time. Universal time in the afternoon, like one p one p.m. I guess maybe. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll we'll keep you posted. Mm -hmm. that. Until then, uh, wish you all a good night, a good day, wherever you are, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Mm -hmm. Until then, everybody say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Cheers. Bye.